So here I am, I've got the periodic table here. You can see the stair step right here. Stair step, non-metals are up here, metals are here, okay, and the semi-metals are on the side. Now I have some, some metals. Now uh, take a look at the metals I've got here. This is a piece of copper, okay. This is another piece of copper. And then I have a piece of lead, and this is aluminum. Now, one thing I want you to notice about metals is that they're all shiny. Hmm. That's called, what is it called, Miss Sims? Luster. It's called luster. So they are shiny and they have luster. Now, also one thing to note is that all metals have a similar color. They're sort of a silver colored metal. Well, you got right? a other colored. With the one. exception of Oh, two. exceptions. There's always exceptions. There are two exceptions are copper and actually right here. What would that be on my finger? Gold. gold. So the two exceptions are copper and gold, but all other metals. Now, if we look back at the period of table, most metals, there are, you know, 80 metals or so. The 80 metals are all silver colored, with the exception, of course, of copper and gold. All right? Okay. Now, let's talk about non-metals. Non-metals are not shiny. They are... Dull. Dull. Okay, so here is a piece of carbon. It's graphite. And so this is a piece of graphite. Notice it's dull. It's kind of not so shiny. And it's kind of boring. Okay. Yep. Another example would be sulfur right here. And if you look at the sulfur, it's kind of a yellow powder. Okay. One thing also true about nonmetals, they don't conduct electricity. Where the metals right here, they do conduct electricity. And then lastly, the things that are kind of uh, in between uh, on that stair step, they're called metalloids. And this is a wafer of silicon. Okay? And it looks kind of shiny and kind of not shiny because it's kind of in between. Mm -hmm. And actually from a conductivity, metals conduct, non-metals don't conduct, semi-metals or, semi or semi-conductors are semi ah. they kind of conduct. Cool. Now I notice you have a sheet of copper right there. Yes. Is that another property of metals? Yes. Well, they are malleable. You can bend them. See, I can bend this. It's ah. malleable. I can take like an aluminum can. It's also malleable. We probably know that. So, so this you, can, is you can bang it out into a sheet and you can also pull it into a wire. Yeah, that's called a ductility. Is that you can make it into a wire. Okay? Cool. So metals, non-metals, and semi-metals. Well, Mr. Sams, we don't only just talk about metals versus non-metals, no. but each family kind of gets its yeah. own deal. Now, by family, you mean a column, right? Yes, a column. Now, on the periodic table, the alkali metals is the first column in the periodic table. Now, you might notice Not hydrogen? it doesn't include hydrogen. So it's what hydrogen I want everybody to do is to label this, and at the top of this, write, well, there it is, alkali metals, <laughs> okay? okay? Now, alkali metals are kind of cool, so let's play around a little bit with an alkali metal. Let's see it. Okay. Now, Mr. Bergman, I got some sodium here. Sodium is an Woo! alkali metal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, this says do not open or tip. Any idea why uh, that might say that? Because it's very dangerous. Uh, yeah, it is very dangerous. And well, that's like, a huge piece of sodium. Oh, huge. my gosh. I didn't realize we had this much stuff, and we really need to repack this. Yeah, I think we need to add some more oil to okay, that. Hang on. Mm. Kill that. This is a piece of sodium here. And you can see I can, I can squish it. It's, it's malleable. And okay. it doesn't look very silvery, Mr. Sam. No, that's because it's got a little coating of, of, of probably sodium oxide on the outside or some sort of oxidized. It's, it's reacted a little bit on the outside. If I cut into this... Why don't you cut into that with our cool tweezer thing? Yeah. It's, uh, it's shiny on the inside. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So you can see yeah. how it's shiny? Yeah, so if I cut into it, it's, it's nice and shiny. And so it's got the properties of metals. Now, you don't often think of sodium as a metal. You think of sodium as, like, you know, something that's salt. And it's the same metal. It's just in a little bit different form. And we'll talk about how those get formed a little bit later. But um, there it is. That's an alkali metal. Now, if I threw this in water, it would blow up. And we're, we'll do a little bit of that in class. And we've got a really cool video. We'll show you about that in class, too. So have fun. Okay. And so the next type of element is the second column on the periodic table, and these are the alkaline, alkaline earth metals. Earth metals. Now, you know, one thing we didn't say about the last slide is those uh, alkaline metals, when they form charges, yes. they form plus yeah, one Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Charges. So put plus one up top here, and then yeah. you want to put plus two here. Yeah, these alkaline earth metals, they form plus two charges. Plus and, two, right, everybody? Yes, plus exactly. two. And we'll talk more about what that means later, but you just need to know that right now. Now let's do a little quick video clip about alkaline earth metals. All right. Okay. And now, of course, we're talking about alkaline earth metals. These are alkaline earth metals. This happens to be little sh sh little slivers little of magnesium. This is magnesium, okay? So magnesium, uh, magnesium turnings, and this is a magnesium ribbon. And so you guys will be doing quite a few experiments, particularly with the magnesium ribbon right here. Um, notice that it's just malleable. I can bend this, um, you know, and drop it on the table and all kinds of things. Okay? So cool. that's an alkaline earth metal. Well, the next family, Mr. Sams, is uh, noble gases. Noble gases is the last column on the periodic table, and they have no charge. So put a charge of zero at the top there. So uh, that's the noble gases. Why don't they have a charge? Well, because they're... 
They're uh, noble. They're noble. All atoms want to have the same number of electrons as a noble gas, and so they uh, don't noble gases are the ones that are sort of happy guys. And then they just don't react. And they don't react. Usually. Yeah. Okay. They're boring. They're all, by the way, gases, hence the name noble gases. Yes, amazing. Yeah. Well, what about the halogens? Halogens is the second to the last column. And so all, we want to write halogens. There's the name, halogens. You get halogen lights. You've heard of those probably, um, light bulbs. And their charge is negative one. And so you want to go ahead and write that up yeah. there. Okay. Now, when we say charges, we should also point out that as pure elements, they don't have a charge. But when they form things with charges called yeah. ions, that's when they get those particular and we'll charges. talk about that in a subsequent podcast. Yep. Okay, so but if you are, uh, make sure you're pausing the video, everybody, um, to write these things down. Right. Label okay. your periodic table. Yep. Label the table. And now I want to talk about halogens. Halogens are the last, second to last column on the periodic table. And um, note, first of all, that we have bromine. And I got some bromine in this tube. It's kind of a brown gas kind of liquid. Yeah. It's blue on the periodic table, at least on this periodic table, uh, representing that it's a liquid at room temperature. This one's a gas because it's been warmed up. Okay? And then I have iodine gas. It's actually a solid, but as you evaporate it, it kind of... Um, it will forms the coat. This is kind of, uh, you can't really see it, but it's, it's really a brown substance. So these are the halogens. Yeah, and the crystals are purple for, for Actually, iodine. It's kind of pretty. Uh, as a side note, um, what do you do if you see a colored gas? Run. Why did you have to run? Because all colored gases are poisonous. Oh, so the ones that you're holding in your hand, if those opened up, we'd need to evacuate the room? That would be a... Okay, uh, yes. just, just check. Good FYI. Okay, yeah. thanks. Transition metals, there's no uh, set charge here. The transition metals are essentially the metals in the middle of the periodic table. Metals these the are the transition metals, the metals in the middle. So these are your transition metals. So labels, you do, can't put charges at the top. Yeah, because they have all sorts of different charges. Some of the elements even have multiple charges, like iron can have plus two or plus yeah. three charges. No, I actually so. call them the schizophrenic metals. Yeah, they're yeah. Not, not sure where they are. They don't know which, which way to go. Yeah. yeah, so they got multiple personalities like that. Rare earth metals are the ones in the bottom. They are uh, called the rare earth metals because they are found rarely in the earth. They're sometimes called um, inner, transition, inner metals. transition metals. So, but let's just call them rare earth metals for the sake of argument. And then uh, metals and semi-metals, that's the ones that are along the stair step. And the most classic one they've been known is silicon. Which it seems, I think that and kind of a clean, cleans it up. We're about done here. Antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, oh, yeah. and nitrogen, and oxygen, Barium. and uranium, and nickel, neodymium, no. neptunium, germanium, Lead. and iron, iron, americium, ruthenium. <laughs> You're pretty good at that. Uranium, europium, zirconium, something, yeah, something. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, there. all right. Mr. Sams and his musical interlude. Woo-hoo! Bye-bye.